this is the rusted willow and my name is tammy and today i am bringing you four high-end super cute easy neutral christmas diys and today this video is going to be just a little bit different because we are doing two playlists and i'll explain more about that later all right i had a special request from a viewer to make a tear tray with some of my spindles so i am making this one for myself now the last time i did a silver tiered tray with a spindle um, which you guys see in all my videos that i do tear tray decor with i painted it white this one i am leaving silver because i loved the tarnish look and look how filthy dirty they were i used my clorox wipes to clean these and uh, they were just filthy 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 my goodness anyway so i am just wiping them down and I cut this beautiful spindle well I don't think I've cut it yet but anyway I picked this beautiful spindle out um, it is shedding and I am going to leave it just exactly how it is super chippy like that because my Christmas decor is pink and black with white or silver So here I am, I am at the saw just showing you. I'm gonna cut that end down. And this one goes perfectly, perfectly to plan. Now the other end had like a square piece on it. And I put this in slow motion. So this is to warn you guys, be mindful of what you're cutting through. I seriously thought this was all one piece. I had no idea, but it goes flying and my husband scolded me. And anyway, it was a whole thing. <laughs> he said, I might not be able to use the saws anymore because of this right here. <laughs> so yes, it went flying because there was a screw in it, but I couldn't see the screw. I mean, it was inside of the spindle and inside the corner piece. So, uh, how did I know I was supposed to take it apart? I don't know. Anyway, I couldn't decide which spindle I was going to use. So, I cut down three different ones to kind of get the sizing on them. And then I clear coated all three of them with my Rust-Oleum 2 times flat sealer. And now I am just marking the center with some painter's tape because I am going to take a drill. Well, okay, look at this hot glue gun. Hippo sent me this hot glue gun and it is amazing. It's cordless, you charge it and I love it. It's so, it's so cute. And it's got a magnetic stand and not only that, but um, it's a detail, a little detail glue gun. So I don't have, well, I do have a detail glue gun from uh, sure bonder, but I don't really care for it. This one is really nice and I love that it's cordless Okay, so I found the center and I just took my drill bit and I drilled right through This silver tray and this tray here is super heavy I might have to change it out on the tray because it's a little top heavy Because the bottom is not as heavy of a tray. I don't know not as heavy as a metal and I was just measuring it to make sure that my um, hole was centered. But even if it wasn't, it's too late. I already drilled the hole, so I don't know why I bothered to measure it afterwards. It's not like I'm going to change it. <laughs> so I'm drilling my pilot holes in my spindle. I changed out my drill bit to a smaller drill bit, and I am just drilling my pilot holes in the spindle. Isn't it gorgeous? I only had one like it, and it's split, and I don't even care because it's so gorgeous. I wanted to use the spindle for something anyway, so thank you to my viewer who requested a tiered tray with my spindles because I've had these trays sitting in my stash for a while thinking I need to make those into a tiered tray. And here we go. Okay, so I'm just using my drill and I attach the bottom one. And then I am attaching the top one. And even though the top tray was a little thicker or heavier than the bottom tray, they were both super easy to drill through. 
I just put a block of wood underneath to protect my surface so that I was drilling into the block of wood and not my tile because I have a piece of tile on my desk on my work desk and then I took another piece of a spindle that I cut off and added it to the top okay so today is third Thursday thrift flips and it's our playlist that Elizabeth and I host every single month and this month our special guest is Marika from Marika Creations let me say that again from Marika Creations and she is amazing if you have not went and visited her channel you need to get over there and I am also joining the plaid collaboration and I will tell you more about that later all right guys on to DIY number two so number two is this ice skate and it is it's not glass it's like ceramic 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 it's ceramic if I can even say that anyway um I don't know my sister found it somewhere and when she returned my screen door that she ran off with last winter um the skate was on there and I thought you know what I'm gonna upcycle it so here we go <clears throat> I'm just gonna freshen it up I'm using my plaster paint by Waverly um also it is put out by plaid so I just give this a good one over coat of the plaster chalk paint and as you can see it's got some snow on the sides and on the heel it's like glittery snow and I know I'm painting over it and that's okay I'm gonna fix that here in a little bit and I will show you how I do that with an amazing plaid product, honestly. Okay, so I am just continuing to paint plaster all over just to clean this up because it's pretty dirty and you can see the laces and I just go back over and touch up the same exact colors that were there before. So the laces were kind of like a light green. So I pulled out my celery and this is celery chalk paint, or it's the color celery chalk paint. Also um, a Waverly product made by Plaid. And I just go over and I use my detail brush and I paint in the laces and it looks stunning. I love it. So it's very light in color. I didn't want bright colored laces because we are doing neutral decor so I'm just putting on this light green onto these little laces so pretty so while you watch that let me tell you about the plaid the plaid collaboration so the plaid playlist will be posted on Friday so you want to make sure that you go and watch that playlist. They are giving away two, I believe we're up to $50 now, two $50 gift cards. So you have to go through and watch all the ladies' uh, videos and comment on their videos. And um, I will tell you, uh, it, there's no special word or anything. You just have to leave a comment. So you have to leave a comment on every single person's video to be entered to win one of the two $50 gift cards. And I believe Indiana Jones is also giving away um, some plaid products as well. So, okay, so then I am using my antiquing wax and I go over the laces and give it some dimension there. And then I use my brush to, uh, and my brush is wet, to uh, blend in that antiquing wax where the shoe naturally was looks like it's bent just to give it some dimension so that it stands out because you know ice skates are not clean and there's always marks where the laces go and these ice skates look like they've been well used so I make sure to go over and um, put some of that dimension in there with the antiquing wax then I used my Mod Podge extreme glitter and it added a little bit of glitter to where the snow was so you can't even tell that i painted over it because the glitter is there again 
And then I pulled out my silver, oh, there's the outdoor Mod Podge. Okay, then I pulled out my silver nail polish um, with the glitter in it, and I put that on the actual ice skate blade because I wanted a little bit more glam and glitz on there. And then, um, well, glam and glitz probably doesn't go with neutral decor, but anyway, I don't care. I wanted some glitter on there. And then I am using my outdoor Mod Podge, also made by Plaid, um, to protect this ice skate because I plan on putting it on my front door. And here we go. It's all done. I hope you can see the glitter and just a little bit of bling on there. It looks amazing. I got this bush at uh, Michael's. No, no. I got it at Joann's. <laughs> I got it at Joann's uh, probably two years ago in Christmas time. And um, I am just adding some greenery from Joann's and then just some greenery, the little white picks, the curly cues that I had in my stash. And that just finishes off this little ice skate beautifully. And I love it. I hope you love it too. All right, DIY number three. Okay, so for this DIY, I got these, a whole bunch of these little hoops. They were like 25 cents at the thrift store. And I got the doily also at the thrift store. I believe it was a quarter, maybe, um, maybe 10 cents. I don't know. It was super cheap. And I put these two together and I made it tight and I just pulled it around the back to tighten it up just a little bit more because I want it to be nice and, and tight in there. And then I took these, uh, one of these wood cross die cuts from Dollar Tree and I painted it a blue color and I didn't like it. Um, I painted it dusk and I didn't like it. So I'm going to go back with moss and only because I'm keeping it with, um, like the greenery theme with the other projects that I'm going to do here. So I think it matches better with the moss color. I'm sorry. It is not moss. It is sage. I used the color sage, the new Waverly color sage. Okay. And then I glue that on there with my new hippo glue gun. That was so nice of them to send me a glue gun. Anyway, so I am just cutting up this greenery and I'm going to attach it across the top. And I'm just kind of placing it there to see how I like it, how it's going to go. And then I decide, okay, I need some of this other greenery. So I put the greenery down. And this turns out so cute, so adorable. And I'll tell you, the finishing touch with the ribbon just elevates it to a whole other level. And this little greenery has little white little snowballs on it. Now this ribbon, I got at Dollar Tree and I've never used it. I have several rolls of it. And why I've never used it, I have no idea because it is so cute. I love it. I love it. Okay. It looks like it's got, I think it's a black, it's like a linen color and it's got black ticking stripes down it and it's just gorgeous. So I just tied that in a bow and it's going to go right in the center there of that greenery. I used some of my stash. I upcycled one of those. And I also put a hanger on it with jute twine. <laughs> Don't forget about the hanger. Okay, guys. Now, let's talk about this plaid collab. So, this plaid collab will post on Friday. Okay? And go over and visit these ladies' channels so you can enter. So, you can be entered to win one of two gift cards and some plaid products. And on to DIY number four. Okay, so here is a frame. I got it at, for a dollar at the thrift store. And I am just taking it apart. I use my Cricut tool to take it apart. 
pry it open. I figured it would be a cute little frame for my tear tray that I just made. So uh, all these products are going to go on my tear tray except for the ice skate, of course. So I give this a good coat of plaster, Waverly chalk paint, and I paint it on all sides, front and back, inside and out. I give it two good coats and I just wanted to show you that I do paint the back because if I put it on my tear tray you're going to see it from all angles and I want it to be finished on the back as well. So then I also painted the little insert. I forgot to hit record. <laughs> so I'm showing you. There you go. I painted it. I uh, not ivory. I painted it plaster all over. And then I am using my Mod Podge, um, and I emptied my Mod Podge bottles into that little squeeze bottle. I love that. Um, that outdoor Mod Podge was so thick. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be that thick or if it's not supposed to be that thick because I've never used it before, but man, it was super thick. So I put my Mod Podge in that little squeeze bottle there, and I just Mod Podged on this. Um, it's like a music sheet and it's Oh Holy Night and I just downloaded that from uh, Google. I tea stained this music sheet so that it would be more vintage looking. And I Mod Podge that um, on the, I put the Mod Podge on the wood and then I Mod Podge over it once it's dried. And that's how I don't get any wrinkles in my Mod Podging. The Mod Podge is also made by Plaid. I just need to point that out. And then I take some of this greenery. And this greenery is actually um, cattails. It looks like cattails. Um, my sister was getting rid of it. And I'm like, ooh, I'll take that. So I love how this looks as a little wreath. And I just tied some jute around the ends where I brought the ends together. And then I just continued to wrap the jute around. And then once I got to the end, I hot glued it in place. And you're not going to see it. Don't worry about it. We're going to cover that up. I put the little wreath in the middle of the picture frame. And now I'm going to make just a little bow. And I just crisscross the ribbon. And I'm going to take some jute and tie it in the middle. to make a cute little bow. I've never made a bow like this and actually it worked out pretty well. I normally tie it like a shoestring and I dovetail my ends. I do that on all my ribbon and then I just glue that to the bottom of the wreath and then I also glue the wreath onto the frame. Now I guess I didn't show this but I did go over the frame and distress it a little bit with um, black chalk paint also made by Waverly okay guys don't forget this is third Thursday thrift flips that playlist will be linked down in my description box below as well as in my comments and don't forget to go over and visit Marika and Elizabeth's channel as well as on Friday I will be in the plaid playlist as well so I will have that listed down below in my description box once it goes live and then if you go over and watch those ladies channels you can be entered to win two gift cards and I believe they are going to be worth $50 a piece and um, also some plaid products. Now I had a viewer comment that they didn't like my video moving in my final reveal so I just took still photos this time so let me know what you think. Do you like the still photos? Do you like the video? I don't know which one looks better so I thought I would just try it this time just to do something different and see if you guys like this better. If you don't like it better, let me know. Also, let me know which product or which DIY you like the best because honestly, I can't choose. That tear tray is gorgeous and I'm not painting it. I'm leaving it as is with tarnish and all and I love how these little DIYs turned out. That little frame is adorable. That gate is 
I can't wait to put it up on my door. I don't know who's ready for winter time, but um, it's 104 degrees here in Kansas. So um, fall can come any day now. I'm ready. I love summertime because I love the water, but um, this heat is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for all my returning subscribers. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, here's a couple you more you might like as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Take care.